Here are four different ways to calculate the moments of x, which is an exponential random variable with parameter lambda. The first way is to use apple. You can set x to an exponential random variable with parameter lambda, and internal to the exponential RV routine is it will assume that lambda is a positive value. If you then type mean of x, variance of x, skewness of x, and kurtosis of x, you will get 1 over lambda for the population mean, 1 over lambda squared for the population variance, 2 for the skewness, and 9 for the kurtosis. Not surprising that we get a non-zero skewness here because the exponential is not a symmetric distribution. A second way of calculating the moments are to use the definition of expectation that is for example to get the population mean mu which is the expected value of x that will be the integral over the support from 0 to infinity of x which just gets copied right there multiplied by the probability density function f of x and the dots here indicate that there's a little bit of work involved. If you look at that integrand, you'll see that you have to do integration by parts. But when you do integration by parts, you wind up with 1 over lambda as the mean, just as Apple returned. There is a third way. We had a moment generating function which was very tractable. You can take the derivative of that moment generating function and you get this and I should also indicate over here this is of course also for t less than lambda and then when you take the derivative and plug 0 in that will give you the expected value of x and you will get 1 over lambda just like you did here using the definition and just like you got with apple and you could take a second derivative and then plug in 0 and that would give you the expected value of x squared then you'd use the shortcut formula and that would lead to the population variance etc. But there is a fourth way that applies to the exponential distribution only and this is a general result that is given on the next slide. Here is a theorem. If x is exponential with parameter lambda then the expected value of x raised to the s power is the gamma function evaluated at s plus 1 divided by lambda to the s for s greater than negative 1. This gamma function is defined as the integral from 0 to infinity of x to the kappa minus 1 e to the minus x dx. It has a single parameter kappa. Here is the proof and in this proof there is going to be a substitution used to work an integral and that substitution will be t is equal to lambda times x. So to start things out the expected value of x raised to the s power which is the quantity of interest will be the integral because the exponential is continuous over its support which goes from 0 to infinity of x to the s multiplied by the probability density function f of x dx. Now going from here to here we have used the substitution t equals lambda x. Keep in mind that also means that dt is equal to lambda dx and when you plug that in you wind up with this expression right here. This integral looks very very close to our definition of the gamma function and it turns out it is simply the gamma function evaluated at s plus 1 multiplied by lambda to the minus s power and that gives us the result up here in the theorem. Now I have seen that some people have seen the gamma function in their calculus class and others have not seen it in their introductory calculus class so the next few slides will spend a little bit of time talking about the gamma function because it will show up quite a bit in probability.